Hi, this is Michael VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia with another YouTube D-Star video for you. Um, today I'm going to be demonstrating the IRC DDB system. And those of you who don't know what IRC DDB is, it's a network which exchanges call sign routing information between D-Star gateways, uh, regardless of what type of D-Star gateway you're using. Um, in the car, we've got uh, two radios, got the IC91 AD on VK5 REXB, 70cm D-Star repeater, and on the 2820 we've got VK5 REXC, and that's the 2 meter D-Star repeater, and you would have seen some videos uh, before uh, showing the VK5 REX gateway and repeater system. On the computer, in the passenger seat, we've got the IRC DDB gateway software running, which is some software written by Jonathan Naylor, G4KLX, and some of you may know his software-based D-Star repeaters. Um, they're very popular, they work really good, and um, in another YouTube video of mine, I've demonstrated his voice client software. So that's uh, up and going and linked to the IRC DDB system. The call sign I have assigned to this gateway is VK5RAC, which is another local amateur radio repeater I look after. Eventually I'd like to have a, a system, a D-Star system installed on that repeater site, but for now, um, just playing with it on the laptop. Now, instead of having a full um, D-Star repeater connected, to the gateway, I'm using a dummy repeater which emulates one of Jonathan's software based D-Star repeaters and um, that also emulates a single user and I have the call sign VK5ZEAX assigned to that user and it uses the DB dongle to do the encoding and decoding of the AMBE audio. Um, so we'll give it a shot. Oh, in the background you can see the IRC DDB net website and uh, are showing the live feed of the, uh, the received call signs as they're transmitted on IRC DDB enabled gateways. So what I'll do now with the dummy repeater, I will now key up just briefly and that will announce that VK5ZEAX is on the air and in theory, yes, there we go, VK5ZEAX has appeared on the, the feed and uh, coming through to VK5 RAC B repeater, the dummy repeater um, is linked up to uh, linked up as a 70 centimeter repeater. So that's working really good. Um, what will we do next? Okay, these two radios are here. There's no D plus linking involved. They're both sitting idle. Both these repeaters are doing nothing at the moment, and I can't remember which one of these I transmitted on. So uh, it might be this one, it could be that one. What we'll do is we'll put in VK5ZEA, which is the call sign I have got programmed in both of these radios. They've both got the same call sign programmed in the my call. So on the gateway, on the dummy repeater, I will call up VK5ZEA. I'll hit transmit and it will then call sign route from the dummy repeater through the IRC DDB gateway software to wherever VK5ZEA was last heard. So we'll transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, four, five. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. So I must have transmitted last on VK5 REXC. And you can see here uh, Michael using IRC DDB and the VK5ZEAX appearing at the bottom of the screen. So that's working really good. Um, what we'll do now is we'll go backwards, we'll bring up the received call sign button and that programs VK5ZEAX into the your call. So when I transmit on here, in theory, it should call sign route back through to the gateway software running on the computer. Okay, we'll just try that. This is VK5ZEA testing and you can hear it coming out of the speakers and it's appearing on the uh, screen. So that's working as well. Now the next thing, okay, I've uh, changed locations, um, I'm in a different town, I'm using a different D-Star repeater, I, uh, I'll key up. So I'll try that on the 70 centimeter repeater with a handheld radio. Okay, I'll key up for a few seconds and if I look at the uh, the system here VK5ZEA 
has transmitted on VK5REXB the 70 centimeter repeater so when I transmit on the dummy repeater now it should course on route to wherever I was last heard so it should come through the handheld radio this is VK5 ZEO testing and it does do that indeed so that works as well um, and once again if I hit the RXCS button on the handheld radio and that puts VK5 ZEAX into the your call and if I transmit on the handheld radio now it should come through the gateway this is VK5 ZEA testing and it does come through indeed so uh, that's working now some of the other features that this gateway software have is that it can do D plus linking and D extra linking and also can take the GPS information received from a D-Star radio and uh, send it to an APRS server. Um, we'll, I'll demonstrate D+. So what we'll do is we will link to VK5REXB and you use the same sort of command with this system as you would with a normal ICOM gateway. Uh, VK5REXBL is now in the your call and if I transmit for a few seconds and hopefully on this screen on the gateway it says VK5 RACB which is this system is linked to VK5 REXB now I set this back to CQ 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 and um, now I have a D plus link between the computer and the ICOM system so if I transmit on the 70 centimeter repeater which is VK5 REXB one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's coming through the D plus link through to the dummy repeater. And if we go backwards, we can just hit CQ and transmit. Okay, it's coming back through. Okay, it's coming back through. There's a D plus link. There's a D plus link. And that works fine. Now, if I hit uh, the unlink command, which is seven spaces and a U, as you would normally have with a uh, D-Star radio, the link should drop, transmit, and the gateway is indicating that it has dropped. So um, there we go. That's basically how it works. And for a, uh, a user, it should be transparent. There should be no need to worry about this at all if it's implemented. It just works. And I recommend anyone who has an ICOM G2 system on the US Trust system to uh, install the client software. It's approved for uh, for use on the uh, on the US Trust system. Um, it doesn't add any database entries. It only modifies existing database entries. And this is where the problem is. Um, if you are outside the US Trust system using this uh, the, the gateway software or an Open G2 system. Um, if you want to call sign route through to a, a US Trust system, you need to have your call sign registered on that US Trust system or on a US Trust system. Um, that's just part of the security fun functions that have been installed on the uh, on the US Trust system. Um, it's not a big thing, but it's something to be aware of. Um, if you want to find out more, I suggest you get onto the IRC DDB Net website and have a bit of a look around there. There's some good documentation. And if you want to play with the IRC DDB Gateway software, um, that's available on the IRC DDB Gateway Yahoo group. And uh, you can download the latest version there and have a play with that. And uh, also the dummy repeater is available there as well, which uses the DB dongle instead of having to have a full um, D-Star repeater connected to it. So it allows you to have a bit of fun and uh, play with it. And I recommend you uh, have a look at that. Um, okay, and that's about it for now. So this is VK5ZEA, Michael in Port Lincoln, 73s. Thanks for watching the video.